I was hoping they would win more than three games this year. I thought they could do some damage, you know? I thought they could get win six games, win uh, just more games. Uh, and then, you know, they came out looking as bad as they did. Justin Fields' case, I was wondering those first three weeks, what the hell did he work on in the offseason, okay? He was supposedly working tightly with his coaches, and then he can't read a freaking zone defense and throw with anticipation between the zones. Or why wasn't this work on before? That is on the offensive coordinator and the QB coach and Justin Fields. Uh, what I don't understand is, like, every year, every it, this happened with Nagy, too. They ask, what could Trubisky work on to be better? What could uh, Fields work on to be better? And they say everything. He needs to do everything correctly, make better decisions, et cetera, et cetera. And it's like the glaring issue from week one was he can't throw it between zones with anticipation. He can't read a freaking zone defense. It was confusing him. He wasn't sure if a dude was that open or not. I I have a mixed bag on Justin Fields. I, beginning of the season, didn't think he was here long term. I before the season even started, I didn't have high hopes for him progressing to the level that I think everybody else wanted him to. However, as the season already started in weeks one through four, I put less and less blame on him as the games went on. Right. So while my outlook for him was never that long-term positive, my outlook for him as a person and as a career on his own is more and more positive. I think if the bears screw this up, which they have already, and they will, he is going to go somewhere else, and he's going to play really, really well. I think he's a 10-year starter. He's not going to be Trubisky and back up Kenny Pickett anytime soon. He's going to go somewhere. There's If Justin Fields is released tomorrow or an, uh, available for trade, 20 teams would be calling the Bears tomorrow. 